Yes. You know what I call this paint you're doing on this tractor? Lipstick on a pig. <laughs> Lip, lipstick on a pig. <laughs> I, <laughs> I do call it lipstick on a pig. I also. I from you and Tim, so <laughs> I just follow your lead, man. I also call it my 40 foot paint job. So from 40 feet away, this looks good. We're not trying to recreate the Picasso here. What we're trying to do is make it so when people in this building, when these folks drive by just like that, and they glance over at the TLB, what they're not seeing is orange, white, orange, <laughs> orange, white red. Yeah, it was graffitied by it. But what you see up front here, is where Jochen is currently working. It primed it, sanded it down. You can see it's all different mishmash of colors. What he's got done back here is the back boom, which has still got a little bit left to do. But that looked much worse than the front of the machine. And really what it boils down to is making it good, look good enough so when it's out on our job site, it's okay. We know that this piece of equipment is gonna go to work on a dirt site, right? And what happens when we go to work on a dirt site? It's it dirty. And scratched up scratched and beat up. up. And... So it's not fancy what we're doing. I literally went down to my local tractor supply company and got cat yellow. And we're gonna cover it up. Now a lot of you guys are gonna throw a hissy fit at me. But the average cost to paint, to sandblast and paint a tractor goes for about $800 for a small one and a tractor like this would be closer to $1,600. And after one or two winters, it's going to look exactly like it did before because of the salt. Now this is a winter plowing machine, right? So what we're doing now is for under $100 in total, we're able to slap the lipstick on the pig, make it look appropriate enough that it looks like a clean, well-maintained machine. Structurally, this machine is in mint condition, almost, simply because the only thing it ever does is hook into a pusher blade and drive around in the parking lot. Occasionally, we take this thing out and we'll slap it on a construction site or a demo site, and then it gets scratched to beat heck and dirty but in reality, it's the salt that corrodes away at the paint. And this is what this is. If you're trying to make a machine look okay for working on a site without being embarrassed about it, this is your solution. If this is going to be your personal baby and you want it in tip-top shape, then maybe you need to take it to a shop and have it sandblasted. But for doing what we do, hooking into these and plowing giant lots, this works fine. This side still has not been touched. So we're gonna see how it turns out after the fact. Let's back up. Let's back up. When you're up close, she's ugly as a mud hen. But from afar, from this point, when it's, once it's painted, we'll do a before and after and see how she looks. How it comes out. Yoke, Yoke, is that the first time you've seen the new skids tier we bought? Yeah. <laughs> Got a question for you. Yes, sir. You spent what, two days grinding and painting on that thing? Honestly? We had the wrong kind of grinder, and it, I spent like three or four days, and then Tim brought that that disc on yep. the high-speed one, and I got like more done in one day or six hours than I did in the three days with the other thing. Nice. Yeah, if you had the right disc out of the gate, what would you say you would have had about a day into the grinding? Probably two, two and a half days of grinding, and then another day of paint. So three and a half days. Because this is a big piece of equipment, but it was in bad shape. Yeah. We are talking about probably one of the ugliest pieces of equipment we own. And we got 10 cans of paint at $4.95 each into it. It's amazing what a little spray paint. <laughs> a spray paint can works wonders on construction equipment. So we've got what, 10 cans at five bucks each, 50 bucks in, in paint. Yeah. And a day of, of painting it and probably two days of polishing the turd up.
Thanks, Yoken. We got all the equipment inside? Yep. We're missing the T-180. Oh, that's out on a job site. Yep. Are we missing another skid loader? Yeah, the 300. I didn't lose any <laughs> uh, the 300 is out in a dirt job and the T180 is on a drain tile job. Okay, cool beans. Thanks, bud.